The senators are uh, calling for government to have a comprehensive plan to address an impending water crisis, especially now that El Nino is underway. Yeah. Uh, what are your marching orders, sir, especially with the Department of Agriculture, since we are also yeah. expecting uh, an impact yeah. on irrigation and uh, might eventually impact on food supply? Well, Thank you. They, uh, they may not have heard the fact that we have organized already the Office of Water Management. Uh, precisely to address this problem of, uh, in fact, I was uh, uh, just recently, uh, I spoke on this precisely this subject on what were the uh, elements that we really have to get into place because we have a serious problem. Never mind, uh, kalimutan na muna na, taisan tabi muna natin yung El Nino. Kahit walang El Nino, may problema talaga tayo sa tubig. And I'm talking about fresh water supply, drinking water, uh, irrig irrigation water, ito lahat ay kailangan natin talagang tignan. So, what we have come up with, with the, the, well, we have, a, we have an overall plan uh, in that uh, we are changing the way that we water, that we ac acquire the supply of water. And we are hoping to shift, no, we're not hoping, we're going to, we're going to shift from the majority of water sources now, which is uh, tayo, laging balon ang kinukuha na natin, eh. we always dig wells. Uh, whereas, what we really should be doing is taking advantage of surface water. So that's one element. And secondly, yung mga infrastructure, uh, mga flood control, mga irrigation, syempre, yan, lahat yan, eh, talagang eh, binigyan natin ng diin para mas maging maganda. Uh, dahil ang pagbasa sa agrikultura naman, alam naman natin, ang pinakamahalaga na para makakita ng magandang produksyon ay ang patubig. At uh, yan ang titignan natin. We have already identified, in terms of rice production, we have already identified uh, certain varieties, hybrid varieties especially, that will be, uh, that do very well during the dry season. Uh, so, pinalit, pinapalit palitan natin yung variety para to take advantage of the different qualities of the different varieties, especially not only of rice, uh, but also of the high-value crops. Dahil pag rice season, usually yung ibang lugar na hindi nag-alaga nag, nag, uh, ng pal, nag, uh, ng palay ay uh, uh, high-value crops ang kanilang ang, ang kailang tinitignan. So, that's, those are the... Those are the uh, um, those are, those are the measures that we have already put into place uh, that are specifically for the Department of Agriculture. But again, the water management problem that we have in the Philippines uh, goes beyond, uh, because it's water, it goes beyond uh, just agriculture. Of course, agriculture is a, a, an extremely important part of it. But we are talking about irrigation, uh, water ir for irrigation, water for power production, uh, our management of, uh, of surface water, so flood control, and for irrigation as well. All of these things we have already put up together, we have already together a overall plan. Uh, now we have to implement it uh, because we have to put together. There are many agencies that are concerned when it comes to water management. So we have to make it a more cohesive. That's why nagtayo tayo ng Office of Water Management, which presently will be attached to uh, uh, the Office of the President and with DNR. Uh, but we are hoping down the road, but on mga bills that have been filed in the legislature in both houses, na itinatayo ang Department of Water Management. And that's precisely what we are trying to face. We already have a problem. We already, but then there's now the new factor or not so new factor of climate change that we really have to deal with. And we, uh, the good thing is that I, we have seen many examples of water management around the world, which we can emulate. Na pwede natin gayahin dito sa Pilipinas, bagay dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi naman, hindi natin siguro dapat, hindi may mahihirap, hindi katanggap-tanggap na ang Pilipinas kulang sa tubig. Dahil alam naman natin, hindi basang-basa ang Pilipinas na ano, we are a tropical country. Uh, and so it's just really a question of managing our water. We have always, we, we have kept, we kept postponing this problem over the many, many years at every level. So it's time to, to put it together, to put in a cohesive plan na masusundan ng lahat ng LGU, masusundan ng lahat ng mga agencies of government. Thank you for watching Politico TV. 
Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.